Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at a Proto 2000 Heritage Steam Loco, it's an 080. I purchased this locomotive new old stock from here in Australia and the reason today I posted this up is to show you guys that you don't need to buy expensive brand new locomotives to um, add to your collection. There are a lot of good bargains out there on eBay. This one actually came from a train store itself. I fitted DCC sound to it. Uh, I will do a, an unboxing, but not a full unboxing. It will be just an overview of the locomotive as I purchased it. And I will also show you the sound installation. And then at the end, a bit of running on the rolling road. So I hope you enjoy. So sit back and relax. Thank you. Just showing you the end of the box. This is the information on the label. As you can see, it is a Proto 2000. These are pretty hard to get now, but still available new. And as you'll see, they are a very detailed model. Just a quick unboxing. I have had this out of the box, obviously. So what you get is operating instructions. DCC conversion, a exploded parts diagram, this motor has a dual flywheel 5 pole motor, some tender details, And on the back, just lubrication, cleaning, and how to order warranty parts. Just warranty diagram, sorry, warranty certificate. What they do include in this locomotive is really nice. It's a bit hard to see, but there's a heritage booklet about the locomotive, about the 080. And it's actually very nicely done. It's on sort of a parchment paper that goes into the history of the locomotive there is a line drawing which is again very very nicely done some more details about who operated the locomotives and the, the basically the st story and preserving the said loco They give you a certificate of quality, just tells you a little bit about the prototypical operation of the locomotive. Okay, as I said, the loco has been out before. The loco itself is in a blister pack. The tender is not. It would normally be wrapped, but I, I have weathered this, or lightly weathered this locomotive and fitted real coal and DCC so I'll show you that a bit later so we'll get it out I won't do a full unboxing but we'll get it out and I'll put it on the track and come back to you there she is folks very well detailed I'll just zoom in a fraction As I say, this locomotive has been weathered. We'll just do a walk along the side of the loco just to see some of the detail. 
Just zoom back out. Most of the attached parts are metal. The tender has had real coal fitted, as you can see. Has chains. Very, very well detailed. Remembering these locos can be purchased for under a hundred dollars US. And by the time you fit a decent sound decoder, you've got a loco that's worth or cost less than half of this, say, a new release logo by other manufacturers. Okay, here we have the DCC sound decoder install. This is available as a kit from Tony's Change Exchange in the US for around $110 US. The kit includes the motherboard, which you see here, which is the large board, which includes four capacitors, which are used as a keep alive. The sound decoder itself just plugs straight into the motherboard. The motherboard plugs straight into the locomotive wiring harness. So you get the motherboard, the sound decoder, the speaker and the speaker enclosure in that kit. Now it basically is a plug-in kit. You need to do a little bit of soldering, um, speaker etc. But other than that, it fits really well. The speaker is just glued to the top of the tender shell and you just drill some holes down through the tender shell I put real coal on top so when you see it from the side you don't see the holes and it looks quite neat TCS themselves make a set of instructions online for doing this I've printed them out I'll just quickly show you. So if you go to the TCS website, you're looking for, in this particular case, the Proto 2000 Heritage 080, and there's the kit number there. Starts off by showing you what is in the kit. Obviously the loco, where the screws are to take the tender off, to remove the old board and what you have to remove. You basically end up with the metal weight, the connection board, the power board connector. And it shows you how to fit the motherboard, the two screws needed, there's one there and there's one over the back, if I remember, might be just one. Your wiring, how to fit the decoder, which is pretty straightforward. Even shows you how to drill the holes in the top of the tender. Very comprehensive, obviously, gluing in the speaker. Now, one thing I didn't do, it tells you how to replace the front LED headlight. I didn't do that. That just tells you what to add, where to put it, and so forth and so forth. So these instructions are very comprehensive. They do that for a lot of models. Uh, TCS have wonderful support. So even if you're not into changing a decoder on a specific model, just go and have a look at their installation diagrams. They're just wonderful. Just a close-up of the board, or the two boards. How neat they are. 
there's no wires running everywhere just two to the speaker and you notice that the main connector here is the original one from the locomotive so just so neat so cost effective okay we have the loco on the rolling road so I'll now go over some of the wow sounds and the running characteristics of this loco we'll start off we'll just follow the list just quickly first one is generator which it always is zero turns on the headlight the headlights are directional front and back number one is bell Number two is Long Whistle. The third one is Short Whistle. Number four is a recorded quill. Now it goes on for quite a bit. I'll just play it. Number five is cylinder cocks. They won't play till the loco moves. Six is brake release or set. So we'll play that again when it's moving. Seven is to apply the brakes. Eight, of course, is to mute. You can rotate the whistle with nine. 10 is Johnson bar down. I'm not going to go over these. Injector is number 12. Air pump 13. But it, a lot of these play randomly. So we'll fire her up and see how she sounds. Speed step seven, speed step ten, we'll take it up to twenty five. quite a bit of momentum set on this and if you back off you'll hear the rod clank now that's with momentum set fairly high coming back no brakes
we'll go in reverse. Back down to zero. So we'll go forward again. We'll go up to that 25, and this time I'll apply brakes. So you can see it stops a lot quicker. So we'll just go forward again. I'll zoom in a little bit. Very controllable. So you can see, everybody, you don't need to buy expensive locomotives. You can get good, very good, new old stock or secondhand locos and ship them. So you can build your fleet up at a very reasonable price. The hobby is starting to get very expensive and so that's why I'm concentrating on buying locomotives like this if I, if I can. They're very hard to get sometimes, especially here in Australia. In particular, steam locomotives. I'll just show you the slow speed step before we go. Now that's in speed step one. Good mechanism, good decoder. They go very well together in this particular logo. So thank you everybody and again just give some thought to buying good pre-owned or new old stock locos online or from your train store. Many train stores still have this particular loco in stock. I know it's probably 10 years old, but this time it was way ahead. Thank you again. Goodbye.